Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a first look at the SJ Cam SJ7 Star. This is a 4K action camera and it shoots 4K video quality at 30 FPS. It's got gyro stabilization, as you can see here. It is waterproof to 30 meters with the waterproof case and it has a 12 megapixel camera for still photos. And it's also got Wi Fi built into it so you can control the camera with your phone. Um, another really cool thing about this that most other action cameras don't have is it's got a two inch touch screen on the back which allows an easy, ah, easy navigating through the settings so that's a really nice feature. I'm going to show you the sides of the box and while I show you I'm going to tell you I got this off of Amazon for about $180 and Here's the specs on the back. But so yeah, I got this for $180 on Amazon. It's like a GoPro. It could be better, could be a little worse, but it's I've read reviews and it's really good for what it is. Um it's a good competition for the GoPro. Here's all the specs if you want to pause the video and look at that. And so I also bought on Amazon some accessories that go with it. So I'll show you those later on in the video. And this side here we got the apps for controlling it with your phone with the uh, Wi-Fi feature. So you can just uh, scan the code, scan the code here with your phone and then it'll pull it up on the app store and then you can download the app. And right here is the authentication code uh, like scratch off code to make sure that the product is an authentic SJKM so I guess we'll get into the unboxing now this just slides off just got this in the mail today it came pretty quick only like four days and I mainly got this camera because I'm going to Hawaii for a vacation with my family and I want a waterproof camera that I can take some sweet videos and pictures with. So right here we got a film on the end. This is the camera itself in the waterproof casing. It's a really nice feel. It's actually really thin. Thinner than I expected. I bought a action camera like a year or two ago from eBay that was about 50 bucks. Definitely not as nice as this, and it was a lot thicker too, so I'm a bit surprised to see how thin it is. It looks really nice too. It's got, um, I think this is aluminum here. As you can see, the edge looks really premium. Alright, I'm going to set that to the to a side, and we'll see what else is in the box here. So under this, we got a bunch of accessories, which is really nice that SJ Cam included with the camera because you know like GoPros don't come with much accessories and then you have to buy them and they're really expensive but this is nice that it comes with a bunch so I'll just go through them real quick looks like we have a bike mount so this mounts onto a bar and then you can put the camera on there for when you're biking or dirt biking or something want to take a cool video um, we also got some helmet mounts they're like sticky Helmet mounts, some just like attachments and arms like that, and then we have some more helmet mount right here. This one's a little curved, you can see. And here's more helmet mounts. These ones are flat, I think, or curved. I can't really tell, but there's more. Which is great because whenever they, you know, come off or if you have multiple helmets and you can use them. And then there's just another one of those connector pieces. Here it comes with a charging cable. And this is actually not micro SD. This is a, um, I think it's called mini USB, not micro USB. Um, so that's a little downside, but not too bad since they include a cable. Also, we got a microfiber cloth with the SJ Cam 
branding on it. Another arm piece. And this is nice what they include. It's a little um, case so that you can mount the camera without having the waterproof case on. Because the waterproof case actually covers up the microphone on the camera. So it kind of muffles everything. But with this case it does not cover up the microphone. So you can use this outside of the water activities. And have better audio than you would with the case. And right here, I'm not sure what this is. I think... It is a little camera lens, actually it says on it, camera lens protective cover. So I guess when you have the camera out of the case, you can put that over the lens and it'll protect it. Another thing you have here, which is really cool, I think, is the, so it's a uh, touch back door. So it's another like back door to this case. And it's still waterproof, but not as waterproof as this one. So if you're not taking it on a really deep dive or anything, you can use this. And what this does is it allows you to use the touch screen on the back of the camera. And this one does not, because it's rated for deeper depths. And it says right here, this one's waterproof 10 feet or 3 meters. And touch functions do not work under deep water. So... That's pretty cool that they have that there. That'll definitely be useful instead of like not being able to use the touchscreen at all in this case. And let's see. They just include some extra little sticker things for helmets, for those helmet um, mounts. And we got some stickers here, SJ Cam, two of them. And then you get the SJ Cam manual which we'll not go through because that's a waste of time. I like to figure things out on my own, and I'm sure a lot of you do too. So I'm just going to put all this stuff back in the box. It's really nice. It comes with all these accessories, so you don't have to buy other ones. Um, I did buy other ones, but that's just because I want to be able to have like every mounting tool I can possibly have. So we'll get to the camera here. It's in a nice plastic shell, and it looks really nice. So to open it up here, you slide it to the right and pop that open. And then this back door just lifts open. So there you go. That's a plastic waterproof case. 30 meter waterproof, which is really deep. You got a little plastic film. And then, this is the camera itself. Let's see, you got another plastic. So this is, this feels really nice. Um, these sides here, this whole, all around the frame is made of aluminum to make it feel and look very premium. As you can see, it looks very nice, and trust me, it feels nice. So you got that, and there's the lens. It's a wide angle lens. I'm not sure how much degree angle it is. It probably says somewhere on the box, but you can always look that up. So it's the SJ7 Star. I believe this is the newest of the SJ Cam series. So this is an like the best one, you know. Anyway, here we got the USB port, HDMI port and an SD SD card port. And I don't believe this has any internal memory, so you have to use an SD card. And here's the back, the touch screen. It's looks really nice, guys. Let's turn it on. Press and hold the power. Blue light lights up. That looks really good. And then another blue light there and right there. So here's the screen itself. It looks like a very nice screen. It's got good high resolution. And battery life is a little low. So 
we'll press settings and I'll show you the touch screen real quick it's a little laggy but like this is so much more convenient than having to press buttons um, you can go here photo quality photo size all that one thing I wanted to show you was the so you can do time lapse on this you can do photo burst you can do self timers um, you can adjust a lot of different things and I wanted to show you what different like quality videos this can take it has a lot of options for video quality trying to find it let's see so there's the Wi-Fi settings so that you can connect your phone photo size I don't know where the video is. Maybe if I press this again. Oh, there we go. Wait. That's the same thing. Okay, so you can navigate through the settings with just the buttons. So if you were to have the waterproof case on and couldn't use the touch screen, you could still use the buttons, which is nice. So, photo quality super fine. Let's X that out. Oh, maybe it's because we're in photo mode right now. So maybe if I press... Sorry for the focus. Alright, now it's in video mode. It's at 720p. Alright. So now we'll go to the settings and video resolutions so as you can see there's a lot of options I'll show you most of them the most important ones so we have 4k at 30 FPS right up here at the top 4k at 25 FPS um, you got 2.7k 2.5k lots of options 60 FPS you got 1080p at 120 FPS which is slow motion so that's pretty good and then you can also get even slower motion with 240 frames per second at 720p let's see where does it say right there 720p 240 frames per second which is really good slow motion I can't wait to use that and yeah that's pretty much it they have a lot of options so you got that slow motion and then video quality f s s fine means super fine i think and then you got slow motion turn it on or off gyro sensor you can't use the gyro sensor i don't think at anything above 1080p video um quality so if you wanted to use the gyro sensor it'd have to be 1080p or below you can't use it in 4k or anything but I don't think that's that bad so yeah that's nice I like there's a lot of settings I'm not gonna go through all of them it's just complicated stuff but I like the touch screen it makes everything so much easier and it's got a good resolution screen and camera hopefully so Overall, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Definitely feels good quality. And let's just see here. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, no card. So I have to have a card in. Um, yeah, I'll show you the accessories now. And just to mention real quick, I'm going to make some videos using this. And I'll post them on my channel. So if you want to see some example videos of what the quality is like and how the slow motion is, just check out my channel and subscribe if you want. Please subscribe. I need some more subscribers. And like this video if you liked it too. Um, I'm going to put this to the side. So press and hold power. Makes a little noise and turn off. And also I think that's the speaker right here. So yeah. Oh and another thing I forgot to mention. This is the battery.
compartment. So you just go in there. It's spring loaded. If you can see, it's all aluminum, which is nice. Spring loaded, and the battery just, there's a little tab, it'll pull out. I'm not quite sure the battery life on this. You'd have to look it up. Um, but it's a pretty good sized battery. And I know it goes like over an hour of recording. I think it's like 80 minutes at 4K, something like that. Don't take my word for that, but um, something like that. And just in case, though, since I'm going to Hawaii and I want everything to work out good, I purchased some extra batteries on Amazon. They were pretty pricey. I think they were in the $20 area around there. And I got two batteries and a charger. So these are the same batteries as you can see. You got to make sure they're for the SJ7 Star. Because the SJ7 Star has actually different sized batteries than the other SJ Cam cameras. So make sure they're specifically for the SJ7 Star. And that's what I got. Two of them. And came with another cord which is also mini USB I think that's what it's called and charger there so you can put both of them in charge them at the same time and I'm assuming you can use a micro SD with this or a micro USB with this because there is a port there and then you can also use the one that comes with it so that's cool I haven't tried any of this stuff out yet because I just got it and I'll probably do a review video on everything sometime later if I don't forget to so there's the camera again and I'm gonna show you what else I got I got a accessory box and it comes with a case and it was like a um, 54 piece I think something like that it was about 20 bucks on Amazon it's got a handle and basically it's just got a bunch of mounting tools and accessories which are used for the camera and they're not specifically just for the SJ cam so these can work on GoPros or like pretty much any other action camera since they all have the same mounting tools so I'm just gonna go through everything that came in here and that should be the rest of my video so if you don't want to see this then you can just end the video and make sure to subscribe if you like this video also hit the thumbs up so let's see first thing we have here is a little tripod um, it does bend and it's got foam on the outside which is pretty cool so tripod and it is adjustable bendy and everything I'm just gonna pull stuff out randomly and try to figure out what it is I don't know what this is um, I can't remember. I read online what it was when I bought it, but I don't remember what they are right now. So I'm just, I think they're just like pads for around the camera. I'm not sure though. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab this one. This, oh, this is a little clip, um, mount. So you can clip this on to, say, your backpack strap while you're hiking. And then you can put your camera here and record like it's on your chest or something like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Probably use that. See, it also comes with a bag. And I have no idea what this is probably goes along with something else in here we got a that yeah I really don't know what most of this stuff is I'll have to look it up but yeah I don't know what the heck that is so I'll just throw it to the side Let's see we got some helmet mounts more helmet mounts with the sticky tape and some more helmet helmet mounts with more sticky tape. That's good. You can never get enough of these. 
Um, then these are for attaching to the helmet mounts. This little thing, so you clip the camera on here and then this little thing slips into the helmet mount. So say my hand is the helmet mount and it's attached to the helmet, you'll slip that in and it'll stay on your helmet. And we have a strap of some sort. I think this is for like an arm arm strap or a wrist wrist strap. Yeah, I think it's a wrist strap. Some Man, I really don't know. It's something. <laughs> okay. And then right here we have another mount. I think this is like a curved so this is for like mounting to something and then getting height. So like say you wanted to oh oh I know what this is. This is like you stick this to your helmet and then you have this thing which is like a big arch and that would like fold down and then so you can have the camera recording your face. So like it attached to your helmet and then it like have the camera hang over and to point at your face. So that's a neat one. We also got a selfie stick, of course. Metal, aluminum, retractable. Pretty cheap, but that'll work. This one, not sure. That could be a wrist strap, something. Um, this might be... This is either a chest strap. Oh, no, this is, this is a wrist strap. Okay. This one's a wrist strap. Put your wrist in there. And then you can have the camera on there. And be like, pa And this one, let's see. I think this one is a... A chest strap? Nope. It's a head strap. So this one will go over your head. Your, like, bare head or helmet, whatever. And then the camera will attach there. So the camera can be on your forehead. That's a good useful one. And it's got some silicone on the inside so it doesn't slip. And then we just got some of those smaller attaching parts. Right here. And then screws for the little mounts. And this one here is for like a car window or something. It's got a suction cup so you can stick it to like your car window, like the windshield, and have the camera recording like where you're driving. So this, w this one might be good for using the time lapse function on the camera. So you can take a time lapse of everywhere you're driving and stuff. Also, this one is one that I really needed for when I go to Hawaii. It's a little, like, floaty one. So this, you will attach to your camera here, and then you can hold it and point the camera everywhere you need, and it's it floats. So if you drop the camera in the water, it'll float up, and of course it's really bright so you can see it easily. And then you got the wrist strap for extra protection, which I think would just go through here. When you tighten it, the wrist strap would just go in there or something. And let's see, some more like helmet clips for attaching to the helmet mounts and some more just like attachment arm things there's a lot of stuff here guys I don't I think if you buy this set you will never need anything else for your action camera mounting wise all right and this is the this one's a pretty cool one I'm probably gonna use this it's a chest strap so it goes around your body in some way. I think these go around your shoulders like that. And you can attach the camera to here. So 
the camera's on your chest and you can kind of get the point of view of the person. So that's that looks like it's it and then you get this hard covered case with a handle which let's see it looks like this foam is made for the camera to fit in right here let's see let's see it's not a perfect fit because this is not made for just this specific camera so the camera goes in there you can fit some accessories in here you know just the ones you want to take along or all of them there's a pouch here at the top and plenty of room for all your camera stuff you know so I guess that's it for my video please like and subscribe like I've said before yep this is a nice camera spent about two hundred and thirty dollars for everything that you saw here in this video so um I'll have to find out, I'll have to use it more and find out if it's worth it. And I'll upload some videos of that I took with this camera so you guys can see how it performs. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.